Okay, here's the horn button from the Plymouth, the 37 coupe. Uh, what you'll notice on this one is um, all of these little pieces along the edge here, if I can get a little bit closer, are all broken off here and here, all the way through. Maybe I'll show it from this angle. Uh, what's supposed to happen is this clip is supposed to fit into this groove in here all the way around and then there's a brass plate that stays inside here that's still inside the uh, steering wheel um, and hold it together and again this also this copper piece uh, fits inside here and pushes against the connector on the top of the wire that feeds down to the horn so uh, what I had to do is order a new replacement cap so let's dig that out over here in this magic little package here crack this open so what you get is this guy and now you'll notice how the rings are really nice the groove not the, not the rings the groove is really nice um so this will fit on here nicely so the damage from this is from pushing the horn down all the time smashing it in and this all gets you know it looks like bake light from way back there in the 30s uh, just broke off over the years so the good news is you'll see on the original it has these little tabs right in here you can see these little tabs so hopefully the plan is for me to carefully pull these back and then reinstall this original cover onto the new reproduction cap um, uh, button. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. I don't see any grooves along here um, like there is for these tabs, but I'll carefully file those in in the same location and uh, see how that works out. So there's the plan. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, I was able to pry the tabs back, no problem. And now, slowly started to peel the cover back off of the cap itself. Ah, there we go, pops right off. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's see how it fits onto the new cap. I do see some notches on the new one, so that's encouraging. Um, so also what I did is mark location of the uh, center of it so I know on the old cap that the top groove is where the top of the chrome cover should fit so they have that already marked so it should go yeah no not not necessarily there Terry we're gonna go around this way let's see if we can get this straightened out here's the top Where's the top here? And the top is right here. So we want to get it the same as that. Like that. Like that. Or like this. Okay, so they don't have these lined up the same way as the original does. So I'm just going to have to do some manipulation here to get it right. I want to make sure that the button is accurate and on the top so i have some new little grooves to cut out here but it looks like it fits really nice looks like i just have to pull the tabs over and uh, away we go so let's uh, let's get that done okay was able to oops that's the old one that's not going to work okay using the old one as a guide i was able to cut in some new notches you can barely see them in here but there's notches now so what's going to happen is this is the top here so that's the top of the horn button and these are going to kind of snap right into place here now i got to push all of this together and get these to line up just right so that is in place i'll push this in and have to do a little bit of manipulation here to really make sure it's tight uh, and then pull these tabs over so let's uh, let's get that done and uh, make it snug Okay, I was able to pull the little tabs back into position uh, where they were before. 
uh, onto the new cap. We're in good shape there all the way around. Looks as good as new. Here's the top. And now we're ready to install it back into the car. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so I got the completed horn back together. Now to somehow magically put this back together. So what we have is we got this ring has to go and touch that. Now the horn might go off a few times, but I need to get this ring behind here. So let's see if I can do all of this uh, at one time. So actually what I got to do is get this ring on here first. Here, let's do that. Let's take this off. If I put the ring on and put it up further, I think I have a plan. Okay, so it's in place, but let me do this and put it above the ring. Let's see if that works. Now, I have to get this all into position carefully and make sure the top is where it's supposed to go. So the top is here. So this actually goes to the left. So let's spin it this way. That is going to go in there. See if that's in there. That seems to be correct. Get it over here. Now get these brass pieces to line up. Oop, there it goes. Okay. Well, it's hitting too early. So this is going to be a big challenge. Okay, now get that back in there. Now I gotta get that lined up with this. Now almost. almost. Nope, it's not it's oh it's not latching the ring. That's what I gotta do. I gotta get okay, I was able to get this latched. There we go. Let's push this back out. Okay, so this latch, but I forgot to latch the pin. So let's get this back out. There we go. Okay, now, what I gotta do is I gotta get this clip to clip around here. Mm. That's the problem. There we go, we're gonna try this again. This has to go actually in here. You need a screwdriver? I think I might. Yeah, how am I gonna get that to stay in there? And get that below. And get that below is going to be a challenge. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge. So what I may have to do is pull this out a little bit further like that, which I just did. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah. Magic. Do yeah. that all together. And yeah. then push it in and then twist there it. There we go. There that's we go. And that's the voice of McTim, my sidekick, twin brother holding the camera as we're getting this together. Okay, there we go. Now, did I get that in nope. there? No. The other no, side. no, 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 no. 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 Let's you take did not lock it. So, let's try it again. Take this off. Actually, what I'm going to do, let's put it behind here. Cuz when I first took this off, this ring was rolling around in here. So, let's put it in here. Right. Then let's try this attempt. Put that in here. Make sure that that's in you there. Got your Is that horn, good? Yep, there your we go. How's your horn button right? Um, Make sure you're. Well, that can twist slightly. So let's let's put that in. Now you put your ring on. I'll put my ring in the groove if I can. You got to go all around the brass though to hold it in. Yep. Um, I got this on the wrong side. There we go. Let's okay. put the brass is in. Now the clip. Can you show. get that in there? Here mm -hmm. we go. Kind of. There we go. Okay, so like this. Yeah, and then, yeah. Hold on. Let's get. Where's the rest of it here? Yeah, there we there go. There we go. go. You okay. Got hold, held in. Now you push it in and lock the okay. forks. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I don't like this little tab sitting here. So let's spin this that. if I can. See that in there? And yeah, you don't want it where it's cracked. You want to put it on. Yeah, because that's going to be pushing pressure yeah, on that. that. So let's take it off again. Take it off and get it right yeah move it to where it's in the neutral there we go 
See, so put, it, put it over here. A oh, neutral. Okay. Yeah, a neutral. You want it there, in a neutral spot. Yeah. All right, you got it off on that yeah, one. Get it. it on that yeah. one. All right, do you see that? Yeah. Here, where's the other one? Coming? Oh, there it is. Okay, get it there. There you go. Are right, we got it all the way around? Yeah, I think so. Is that so. in there? Is that in the groove? Make sure it's all clean in the groove. Everybody's now. in the groove. Okay, now so your, now. Now you got your Plymouth. Yeah, let's right get that way. the right way. So it looks like I have to go this way. So here we go. Gonna, you should disconnect the horn. I know I should, but that's going to be. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Success. But now does it work? No. No. It's Ooh. not grounded. No. There you go. It's a little sticky. Okay, it's a little sticky. I got some work ahead of me to get this right. So why? Oh, there it goes. There you go. You just need the bottom. Yeah, just something. Well, I got some work ahead of me on this guy. <laughs> it works on the bottom, no problem, all day long. No, just that's but the side need. doesn't work, or that doesn't work. It should hit in the center. Is where it should. There huh, you go. So I got some. I may have to take this apart. Yep, let's go back down again. Whoop, there it is. Oh, sorry. That's okay. So, You're but. You're edit this anyway. Yeah. But anyway, that works. So I'm going to still have to try this again. I think I'm going to have to take it apart and see how that thing lines up. Um, so anyway, uh, semi-success there. Okay, I was able to take the horn button out again, clean out the contacts. Uh, it works much better now. As you can kind of see, it just, you got to hit it pretty good. But works pretty solid now not perfect but a lot better than it was so i call that success and uh, we'll go on to the next project thanks for watching